Very good. Back, back for this last game of the day, Men's Open England versus Scotland. Last game, day three, yes. Nice to be with you again, Clem. Uh, happy to be with you again as well, AJ. And this is going to be a hot game in every possible way. The oh. weather, the intensity and the challenge because it's going to be the second versus third in the men's open we're in the second round now yep second round so we've got uh, two of the four teams that are battling for the final spots um playing right now and scotland need to win this one they lost against ireland earlier today at the 2 p.m uh, time slot so they do need to win yeah they um, really do need a win and england is the man to beat as always exactly so you put your you've changed your cap you commentated the last game in French, I saw, so... Yeah, I did the previous one in French. I mean, I was missing my French so much. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Must have been a lot easier for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, actually, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I don't have the excuse if I don't know the word. <laughs> Pinkerton out of half, long ball. Long ball for the oh. winger. He uh, was well defended. Very well defended. So, yeah, this will be our last games for today, a shortened day. Um, due to the heat, trying to get all the games done as quickly as we can so all the players can get back, and referees can get back to their hotels, rest up, and, uh, and volunteers, as well, and, volunteers <laughs> and get ready for um, day four, because you've been on the, your feet pretty much most of the uh, tournament. Yeah, long I days. Have. Yeah, yeah, it's been long days. We've done like from 7 to 7 in the morning to 8, 9, yep. 10 some days. Yep. But yeah, it's been really nice to be here. Good games and a lot of nice place to see so yep and a big day tomorrow absolutely a massive day tomorrow we'll hopefully do the four games in the afternoon together yep that's right and so the and ho hopefully also we're going to have some uh, on-field camera and some interviews um, just doing some changes to the uh, audio wow, uh, setup a really good entry by number nine yeah that's uh, come out firing the Scots they came out firing against England in the round game um, losing 10-5, but uh, they held an early 2-1 lead, so no love lost between these two. Yeah, and we've said it before, you've got to beat England only once. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Exactly so if right. If they can manage to win now, I think all is good for the rest of the day. For Scotland, though, they do have to beat them today. Yeah. As, um, yeah I just took a drink of water there because it is boiling hot, and uh, Clem will about to do the same. She's... Uh, her compatriot has uh, brought her a beverage that's well deserved after the last time slot. So. Yeah, Lionel, who is commenting with me the previous game, the women's 27, he just brought me my phone and a nice glass <laughs> of kind of sparkling water. Yeah, which you've been serving to the Patriage uh, most have, of the day yeah. too. Um, it was still 12 minutes left to enjoy the happy hour, so yeah. if you're in Vichy and you're listening to us, Please go straight to the bar because you have 12 minutes to enjoy a nice cold beer for out of this game. Three euros. Yep. Still got to pay one for the cup though. Still got to pay one for the cup. Oh, I think that's the, a forward pass. Yeah, I think the last pass was forward, but it was yeah. a really nice move. Anyways, we got an offside penalty before that. Anyway, so now the referees are just adapting a, um, a substitution policy here as well for this game they've um, they've done well today so we're going to have a multitude of referees on these last time slots just to uh, make sure that they're also um, not uh, burning too much gas and get ready for tomorrow yeah because they've got a big day tomorrow as well yeah. the finals day is a really heavy day for the players and for the staff and the commentators and for the referees yeah, exactly <laughs> right so the um, whilst there's not as many games tomorrow the games uh, ramp up in intensity because that's uh, w when the medals are won and lost. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the games you want to win. Exactly. So Louis Burns there coming out of half. 
I've said his name countless times when commentating the Scottish games. He's pretty easy to recognise, uh, has his hands on the pillow a hell of a lot and um, is one of Scotland's central playmakers. So, um, In fact, most of this uh, side on now I could probably name without looking at the sheet. So you've got Tweedy with the ball and that's Burns. Pinkerton's outside him. Burns there, finds the link hole, which is Tweedy. I believe, no, that's Lockhart. I knew it was one of the two. <laughs> and Crawford's on that wing, and I, the number 10 is the only one I didn't know, which was... Uh, Callum Screenan. Callum Screenan, yes, yeah, Screenan. So, um, so, yeah, after a few days, I've finally gotten to know a set of six. So, good wow. luck. I oh, won't go out with that French, though. <laughs> Good job. I mean, this is why you're a much better commentator than I am because oh. I don't even recognise half of these guys, even though I've commented a few games. But hopefully I'll learn to along the way. You kill me with the French games, so though. <laughs> I'm still struggling with male pin, so... <laughs> You'll get the hang of it. Exactly. Oh, I have really heavy touch there. Exactly. I said it before, we'll say it again. The touches in the men's divisions are a bit heavier than they are in the women's or in the mixed divisions. But yeah. all is fair as long as it's not undecided and it's not dangerous for the player. They like to get physical, that's for sure, as England rock the ball up now. I don't think I've actually said an English name since I've started this commentary, so let's get one here, number two. I think so. Sarah Cold. I chose the hardest name in the English team to announce too, so Sarah Cold there. No, just a touch there, the 14 at dummy half, that's Lupton. Uh, no, they just want uh, Sarah Cold to... Uh, roll the ball and uh, it certainly isn't Sarah Cold here right now so <laughs> it's Sarah Hot so <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> oh and a long ball for Lovely the winger pass there. but it was well covered yeah. Johans Rossell little JR to his mates yeah Marshall McLeod I know it's not him it's the wrong team that I've said but yeah number 11 trying to get a corner try I was impressed with the way you said Marshall McLeod Oh, I did spend a bit of time in Scotland. Oh, yeah. To be <laughs> Hey, was that Irish? Aye. <laughs> it is Irish. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Scottish? Oh, I can't do it. I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm trying to remember uh, groundskeeper Willie from The Simpsons. <laughs> That's the extent of my Scottish. And Billy Connolly. He was Scottish, wasn't he? Yeah, uh, sure, with a name like that, he could have been. <laughs> <laughs> we got the number nine here from uh, Scotland, Gregor Christie, coming out of half and Lupton there, taking it back for England. A pretty locked game so far. Yeah, it's nil all. Yeah, it's nil all. It's always already been seven minutes. Yeah. So you got the 12 there. That's uh, Henderson. Rocking the Sandflat. sunscreen on his nose. Oh, yeah. As a good English guy. Yeah. Marcus Chung. Coming out of half, there's the a six. We've seen him, Louis Trez. Yeah, that's your mate, Louis Trez. It's my man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe not. Louis Trez. Yeah, that's the only one I can recognise, Louis Trez, with the dummy pass, but he was touched eventually. Yeah. So good hands here, that, that'd be Strain. He's a big, tall, lanky lad from Scotland. Christie there, given the uh, bit of a shoulder, but the uh, referees have said no, the English calls that one. But a nice pair of hands from number 12, Lewis Burns, who really caught this one. Yeah. Louis Burns. I think he's their main man for Scotland. He seems to do a lot of the work. Burns a candle at both ends. <laughs> Not only on the touch field, but in, in the nightclub as well. Oh, you know. I guess we'll see about that tomorrow then. Well, I won't. Um, we well and truly on my way home <laughs> from then, so I've got uh, some sightseeing That's adventures uh, booked for the the Paris uh, for the next couple of days oh, before nice. the 25-hour uh, flight home. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll have to take myself you, then. You'll have to take yourself oh, for sure. Nice so lovely pass. passing. I think the ref, the, yeah, the ref is calling for a six more. Yeah. I hope they shout you all you volunteers a beer after the uh, the efforts you put in here. Oh, you, we're going to serve probably for the, ah, the evening ah. as well at the party, but we're going to pour a couple of for one for us. That's again, the yeah. one for you, one for me scenario <laughs> yeah, that, that we talked work. about earlier. It will work. Yeah, there's enough of us for yeah. that. And so a long ball. Lovely ball. Is that a try? Yes, it is. They're giving the try. So. The English doesn't seem. Yeah. Too happy about it. But big, big Crawford out wide there, Robert Crawford. Big Crawford. Is there a small Crawford? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Just looking at him, he's, he's a tall lad. Yeah, it is. He is really impressive. Yeah. And that's a good quality we've seen in a couple of wingers there from other teams as well. Um, sometimes you get a really tall, really big player because yeah. he can catch the high balls. And he can put a little pace as well. Take, take the intercepts as yeah, well. Yeah, take the interception. So Sarah Cold. Well, we're going to call him Sarah Hot for the rest of this game. 
I think that's uh, Lupton, the 14, getting the ball off a quickie. Oh, he's in here. Yeah. Lovely play by Lupton. Yeah, so that's one all. Little quickie play. Just before the water break, we got 30 seconds more. I've, noti I've noticed this a lot in um, this tournament. Uh, teams have been able to hit back quickly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it's usually pretty quiet for like five, six, seven minutes, and then you got one score, and then the other team yeah. just answers right away. Yeah. But um. Oh, is um yeah, I recognise him number. 14 or number four? Uh, that's 14. That's, that's 14. Uh, yeah, we'll, Campbell. We'll yeah, it's tall guy, cap, and one sleeve. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. So that's uh, the drinks that's break. Water break. Yeah, yeah, that's the 10 minute water break. 10 minute. Oh, at the 10 minute <laughs> mark, so no, two minutes for two water. Minute water break, yeah. I think the players just heard me say 10 minutes. They've gone, oh, you beaut. But no, it's only two minutes. Oh, I'd be happy with 10 minutes play, yeah. 10 minute water break. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's going to be a 10 minute of They're shade. all grabbing their, their drink bottles. Uh, Will Lupton, the try scorer, has got himself a keg of water there to drink. So. I mean, I can understand. It's just so hot in here. Yeah, like, even under the tent, we're literally burning. Yeah. So I can understand why they would need a tug full of water. Yeah, exactly right. Well, they've got half an hour of effort left for the day. That's all they've got to think about. And then um, an earlier finish. So teams will be back at their rooms at 6 rather than 8. Or 8.30, which was uh, what we were expecting, so... But, um... So, yeah, one all after the first 10 minutes of the game. Yep. Um, pretty much all to do yeah, exactly <laughs> at this right. point. We can't really... Argument, it was a pretty clean first 10 minutes. Um, not many errors, not many big errors. And a good period on both sides, yeah. but a lot of combativity. So Scotland have been game. wearing their predominantly red uniform today. Yeah. The selection, yeah. Yeah, so they might go back to the blue for tomorrow. So I hope for them they're sleeveless for tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather play in a sleeveless shirt when it's that hot. Oh, I can't stand shirts. I'm, I wear sing we wear singlets all the time. We wear singlets in winter when we play in uh, the Gold Coast. That's how not cold it gets. So. Well, we don't have the same look, but uh, yeah, I like to rock the sleeveless as well. And we're gonna be we're gonna go back from where we stopped just before the water break. Uh, so if Scotland needs to have a few changes, they can do it now that it's started again. Yeah, they're just going to continue with the pot that they have here. Sorry, Clem. Yeah, it's fine. A little step and pass back. Like yourself, I'm hard. Occupying dual roles in at this tournament, uh, being the uh, tournament director slash commentator slash draw changer. That's a lot of caps. Yeah. Slash patron of the bar. <laughs> so, Saint. Page and Saint, oh, there you go. I did visit a few churches in Leon, as we talked about earlier <laughs> in the week, so. There's a few ones in Saints that are really nice. Here. Oh, there's plenty. So, my partner has seen, like, I think, all 20 of them so far <laughs> that we've, in the towns we've been in, so she loves churches. Loves we've got to come to Strasbourg, we've got a great cathedral. Oh, Strasbourg, well, when the play settles a little bit, I'll tell you the Strasbourg story, but anyway. We've got uh, the number 15 there for England. That's nice Watts. Nice from number 16 with the Grinter. quick feet. And a bucket he's through, hat. He's through. He's through. Great finish. Yeah. Good one. He found his link there at the far end of the pitch. Just trying to get his number from the replay. He's going to come off anyway, so I'll let Clem look at the replay and I'll try and get his yeah, number I'm live. And we can see the number 16 with a nice little step inside and it's yep can't see it on the replay i think it's number nine uh number six six yep number six um no, it's, no, no, it's got to be, right. be number five it's tom trip yeah because it's not going to be it's not louis trace he's not no, hanging out not. on the wing there no he's much shorter yeah and he's not a winger and he's not a winger <laughs> so louis burns come out of half nice little one two play did he get it down no it wasn't grounded. No, that's right. So, um, England there, breathe a sigh of relief. A good play between um, Burns and your mate Marshall McLeod. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy penalty. That could be, yeah, the referee's going to blow a penalty here. So they are. Got a little bit of tumbling going around in there on the pitch here. So Scotland, they, 
they fought for the first 10 minutes, they've got to fight for this 10, you know, they just can't let it get away. But uh, with Treas and Chung on the field, that's two of the nippier England players. So they're running a C1 line here with the variation, I like that variation that you do. The normal uh, move is that the, uh, the middle goes to half the link wraps, but sometimes you can send the middle as the wrapper and the other, the other guy goes to half. So there's just variations off that play. Oh, that's lovely by oh, Chung. that's very nice. Number seven, Marcus Chung. Uh, especially now that it's 3-1 um, for England, Scotland has got to fight back. Yeah. They managed to keep it one all for the first half, yeah. well, for the first 10 minutes. But now it's 3-1 um, and you just got to keep yeah. up. They can't let this get away, yeah. get away from them. So, so 3-1 to England, a couple of nice tries there. But yeah, yeah they, run, they run this uh, C1 line which is what we call it, which is a, that uh, sweeper on the link. Mm -hmm. And the, the normal play is uh, you'll pass to the link and your other middle sweeps. But a variation is you actually, um, the sweep, the person that would normally sweep goes to half and the person that would normally be the half sweeps. So it's just a variation on it, but it can be quite deceptive. Yeah, it's a bit tricky to defend. It's very tricky if you're not at where it's coming. So Scotland, a bit of hard touch there. Oh, I thought uh, Pinkerton was going to go in there with the coat hanger, but he he held back. I think he plays rugby as well, Pinkerton. <laughs> well, that could be uh, a good indication. He's, he's very well built. Yeah. Built like a rugby player. Touch might be a pastime as uh, up to there. Oh, number three, that's some nice wheels. He's away. He's away. Yeah. Number three's away. Vince Parker put away the glasses. I mean, nobody could stop him at this point. No. We're going to see it again. He looks fresh too. It's like he, that's his first touch of the game, yeah, it looked like. Yeah, that's it. Very nice inside step. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so like I said, got Scotland in for the grind for the first 10. But now uh, England probably just uh, showing that uh, this is what happens between the, 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 the let's call it the, the superior teams at this point in time, for lack of a better term. Uh, it's really that uh, 13 to 20 minute mark in touch football games where um, teams that just have a little bit more structure, maybe a little bit more cohesion, um, seem to get away. But in saying that, Scotland have gone through and there's a way and Gregor Christie. Yeah, that's a nice try. I mean, <laughs> he was fumbling around inside the score line for a while. I wasn't sure if he, he was been touched or not, but he finally managed to find an open partner. Yet. And it's a school for, I think, number nine. Yep, it was Greg Old Christie there that got the try. Very nice one. And it brings us to 4 2. Yep. That was a good hit back. They needed to do that. Yeah, they needed it. Yeah. So, England now. Upton. Oh, Lupton, sorry. And now it's not a silent L. Oh, lovely skip there by the number four, Horatio Price. Price gets the ball again. Yeah, Lupton. Fourth coming in. Price. Lupton. Price. <laughs> I could just say that all day. Lupton. <laughs> Lupton. No, it's not Price this time. It's and a lovely really long ball. Pass. That was Dom Tripp. Throw I think that was Dom Tripp throwing the ball. but. I think it was, yeah. Or was it Johan Rosso? No, I think, the the, uh, sorry, I, yeah. I think it's the... I think it's... I think it's... No, I don't know. It was, it was scored by... Um, the, the 11 scored, didn't 11, Matthew yeah. Bate. But the passer, number five, Dom Tripp. Yep. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> once again. You recognise them. So we're at 5 2 now. It's a lovely pass, wasn't it? We'll have to change the, the live scoring as soon as we can. And. Yeah, got Pinkett in there. He's getting around his man. No, the winger, if that's, if that's the only touch he's calling. Nah, yeah, the ball's down before one got him. So, yeah, that's yeah, a fair try. Yeah, I think he knew it too. Yeah, we're going to watch the replay. It was a nice one. He stayed hidden and he's gone out. Yep. No, the winger is too late. Absolutely too late. So we have a 5 3 scoreline. Yeah, it was scored by number 15, James Pinkerton, and yeah. now we're at 5 3. So it's just yeah. two behind. So yeah. everything can be done. It can be. Just going to check. Yeah, just we'll get the updated, uh, the live score updated for you, but it is 5 3. 
both Clem and I mark down our scores just so uh, we know what's going on in the game. We know who's got singles, doubles, who hasn't scored, who's still on the duds run. But here we go. We've got oh, and a step no back one. to the short side play, but yes. well defended there by Scotland. Yeah, it was a good dive, but uh, no ball, so you can't yeah. score a try without a ball. No, exactly right. Tried it once, didn't work. <laughs> Scotland rocking it out now. There's Louis Burns. He's going to be tired after today. Yeah. He's going to sleep well tonight. I mean, we're all going to sleep well. <laughs> I think this is one of the things that everyone's going to be relieved as well, is that we finish up earlier today than we did yesterday. Yeah, we do. And so the players will have more time to rest as well yep. for the finals. Exactly right. So. Uh, I know a few teams that played the first lot and the last lot oh, of the day. Love wow, the lovely hand. That was a great, Very good catch. Great pill by Louis Treas out the back. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna play, watch it again. Um, Louis Treas, he's going one way, stepping inside, and then a very long ball. Really good catch by number, uh, I believe it's 16. Uh, no, 12. 12. Oh yeah. Yeah, number 12 to try score there, yeah, Josh Henderson. So. Can't read numbers today. Yeah, six three. Six three. Yep. Uh, okay. and England is keeping a, a solid advance, it's like 6-3 as we said, um, just three points away. Yeah, Louis Burns here, skips oh, through and skips nice the automatic hit back. I oh, know. Yeah, the, the touch bit's called by number 16. Yeah. Benny yeah. Grinter saying, I got you Louis. Louis saying, no you didn't Ben. <laughs> Benny, he did. And the referee agrees with Ben. So. Burns again, he's going to do a step back in here, count his play. Looks for short ball, lovely short ball, but uh, Betty Grinter again. Oh, I thought it was a replay because <laughs> it really looked like the one they did before. But um, his hat's not getting in his eyes, he's um, making those touches. So great defence there, he'll come off now and let his attackers come on. Louis, oh, that oh, looked a little suspicious, yep. that pass, but the referees are saying no, the ruck infringement happened first. Yeah, yeah. I think England got a little lucky there. Yep. Go back to a penalty here. So we've got Lupton now. Working with Price again. Well, haven't those two worked Lupton together Price, a bit? Lupton Price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a department store, doesn't it? Lupton and Price? Yeah. Yep. And they could open up a, a workshop right. if, they, if it doesn't work out. Yeah, exactly. Lupton Price Apparels. <laughs> And it, it really is Lupton Price. Yeah, last play of the half. Oh, oh. Lupton. Oh. But uh, Louis got in the line there. I think he could have. I, I don't think he was uh, half there. So he could have just went for the dive and scored it on his own, I think. Yeah, exactly right. Um, could have dummied. Yeah, but things since the the Hooter had uh, rang, he just could not play it again. He, he just sent the ball off to his winger and it was tapped on. It was that last play of the half, he tried. He thought about going on the outside. I thought he could have tried, maybe tried the dummy yeah. and gone through because I think he had hit his, his man beat. It was just whether Louis would have um, stepped back in to make the touch on uh, on uh, Lupton there. So, half time, 6-3. 6-3 at half time. Everything can be done still for Scotland, I think. Um, a second 10 minutes though was much more productive for the English. Yeah. Uh, five tries and only two for Scotland. We've got Vince Parker there just having a chat to one of his teammates saying, you see how fast I ran? <laughs> you see me score? Check out my speed. Check out my speed. I was that fast that it uh, burnt a uh, English cross in the back of my head. <laughs> so, but, um, sorry, sorry Vinny. But, <laughs> <laughs> it's half time, we're going to make fun yeah, of something. Yeah, we're going to make some fun of something. Yeah, exactly right, and I'm it's, sure. It's literally right in front of us. <laughs> yeah, exactly right, we're sitting here. Uh, so we've got to do with what we have. Watching the English have a chat. Well, the English have chosen to uh, keep their cooler and their water bottles outside of the tent, which is a, a curious decision, if you want yep. to know my opinion. Yeah, exactly. Um, and to protect themselves inside the tent. Yep. As we know, the English are very pasty and can burn <laughs> quite easily. Well, I'm known as a pasty white boy to people <laughs> I know, so I know yeah. all about that. I'm going to offend more people now. Yeah, possibly. That's all right. No one can be more offended than the poor old English women's open yesterday after what they had to endure with my commentary, so... Uh, they don't know what we look like, so we're fine, I think. They might. <laughs> they might remember. They might look behind them. 
I know, I know the Scottish know what we look like. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it was this team, right? Yeah, it was the yeah. Scottish men's team. Was it this yeah, team? Yeah, oh. it was this team. Damn it. They, yeah. were, they didn't have the same kid in my, no. in my mind. No, Hutgate. Yeah. So. Well, anyways, 6 3. Um, on to play for Scotland. We got more scores to well they're going to need to come back aren't they yeah they, they got to come back if they're going to want to play in the cup game tomorrow they have to win this one yep. and to win this one they're going to have to score three more tries than England in the second half so or it, four it, more it's tries it's another dramatic play against England with England being three scores away from the second mm. uh, the other team as we've seen before with the French and hopefully the Scottish will be more lucky this time do you know how England went against France in the first men's game I know I don't Neither do I. I can check then. Maybe you So you were just going to check that and see what the other scores were. Mm. And uh, we're also going to have to check what the other games of the day have been. Um, yeah, in the, in the pool stages, um, England and Scotland. Yeah, um, England won 10-5 against Scotland. Yeah, that was in the round game. Have we got the uh, the progression when England played France, when uh, Ireland beat Scotland 11-8 from memory? Um, and at the same time, England were playing. I think it was around two o'clock. Oh, today. Today, yeah. Yeah, England won. 13-6 against France. Against France. Yeah. So, Ireland are playing France right now, and if Ireland win that, then it'll be Ireland and England for the gold medal match tomorrow night as the last game of the Euros, because both of them would have had two wins. So, we don't have score updates for the yeah. other fields. Yeah, we don't yet, but um, it'll all be updated, I think, yeah. by tonight. Yeah. But uh, my spies tell me that it's close. And I've got a 50% chance of my spies being right. Yeah, I'm, I'm more worried about the, the French game. Yeah, you do have a <laughs> spy. You could, same time. you could tell us. Um, so what? In the mixed categories, no, it's been like... Men's. Oh, yeah, mixed. Really How? good thing. Ireland beat England this... Uh, early on today. Yeah, really. Which really messes up <laughs> the pool stages. Really? And all it, of it England in the yeah, mix? Yeah, it's all open for the finals. Wow. So uh, the French versus England game going on right now in pitch seven is really important as yeah. well and I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you need to uh, contact uh, one of the Poria brothers that isn't playing and get a uh, score update. <laughs> send him a text. Oh yeah. I think he's too busy watching the game and, and helping his brothers out. Yeah, he could be. Uh, so Scotland needs to score a try very quickly and to defend if they don't want to be more behind than they already are. They do. They had the first set of the second half there and um, England held them out pretty easily as we are uh, rucking the ball forward with Dom Tripp. Watts, Grinter, out of half. I think, uh, I don't know whether yeah, he's there's... He's yeah. half and he's been touched. He has been, so... Great touch there by Pinkerton, one of the try scorers for the Scottish earlier today. And, and some of the Scottish players are surprisingly, um, I'm not going to make any friends now, when I'm going to say this, but they're surprisingly massive. Yeah. Uh, they look much... Like rugby players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got, they're built like rugby players. Yeah, they probably are rugby players as well, so... But they're really, really fit and really fast, mm. so they're very dangerous. Well, I think in this part of the world, rugby is a very, very popular sport, isn't it? So in uh, Europe, yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, so you're going to yeah. have to be fit and fast, um, especially if you're an outside back or a 12 or a 13 in rugby. Yeah, it, so, it was a good defence as well from Scotland. Yeah. So Grinter and uh, Chris, Christy coming together. They didn't exchange blows, exchange more hugs than anything, maybe they know each other. Ah. Ball goes to ground. Yeah, that's a, a lost ball there. Just no one for the team yeah. to take it. As we look out over the magnificent arena here at Vichy, we can start to see a couple of clouds form. They're going to do absolutely nothing for anyone. Yep, because it's not going to rain, it's not going to be cloudy. Yep. The weather has been quite beautiful in terms of no rain but uh, maybe a couple of degrees on the warm side for um, for these players. I mean, 
us some of the same SV players probably don't appreciate that uh, they don't get conditions like this too often. Yeah. And um, you don't play touch in uh, all year round in Europe because it gets a bit cold and snowy and availability of fields and whatnot. So as a Ooh, good, good touch, but drop, drop ball there by Horatio Price. Yeah, it's a good comeback from the, the link there. With a really good touch. Yeah. Try saving touch as well. So all these players are doing a great job. Pinkerton there driving the ball. That's a really good yards made there. Way number 15, yeah. Pinkerton, yeah. Lockhart. This is Strain. Gregor. And number eight. It's kind of away, but uh, I think it was the fifth touch. That's McLeod. Strain's got the ball here. Is he going to switch back? No, he did. Great touch by Dom Tripp. He's going to ruck the ball out now. The Scottish seem to have just amped up the gear and, and really decided to just go straight into the defence players of England here. So that's a good drive, good changeover transition there by England. Parker, running a bit lighter after burning uh, the cross in his head in the first half. So. a good defence by number 10, the winger who just came in, Callum Strain and came inside to block the, floor, the other pass, the last pass. Yeah. So Are we going to see another 10 minutes of almost no tries and then know. just another 10 minutes of mostly tries? The game's being played between the uh, sevens at the moment, as uh, you would say. As, uh, yeah, it's just ruck, D, ruck, D, ruck, D. Pink, so far no tries. Good drive by Pinkerton, finds Lockhart. Lockhart his comes half. out of half. Yeah, but yeah, his half. It's last touch, so that's not a bad play. It's last yeah, yeah. touch. It's a good idea, but he, he couldn't manage to, to pace the defence. No, Eng England sort of defended that pretty well. Yeah. They didn't look like they were under too much pressure. That's well, the, they always look like they're keeping their cool. Yeah, they do. Louis Trace there. Henderson is number 12. There's Grinter. And then Horatio, he's out. Oh, he's quick. Yeah, he's got this some great he's wheels. really gone and out uh, wide. You but can't do lost. that. Yeah, you can't actually... No. Oh, oh, for me, he's not grounded. Yeah, you can't actually... Put, just force the ball like that. You have to take control of the ball well. They're going to give him the try anyway. Oh, are they? But watch the replay. There is actually yeah. a rule that says you actually have to take control of the pill. You can't actually just... Oh, I think it's overruled. ...put it down like that, yeah. Wasn't it? No, no. Sorry, it's booked too quickly. No, they booked it, I think. Um, if you can watch the replay, you're going to check if it was grounded or if it was just um, touched as it went down. Yeah, you'll find... If they give us a replay... Uh, I don't think we have one no. for this one. Can we get a replay? No, no, no replays for this Sorry. one. Sorry. Anyway, those watching at home. All right. You can do the. From what I saw, I don't think he actually grabbed the ball before he put it down. I thought he just planted it down like that. So. I'm not even sure. We've got here. We've got some discussion. We've got a ball down. Yeah, we've got a ball down. I think that's what the referee's saying. Yeah. Is he saying that or he's getting down? Or it's a penalty because uh, whatever happened, yeah. happened. But it gives uh, Scotland the opportunity with the ball. Good metres you made yet. Louis yeah. Burns there. Driving well. Get off, get He's uh, tweeting. 13, I haven't called him yet. That's Ross Taylor. Out of half comes Lockhart. Uh, that's Inside six to ball. go. Yeah, that's six to go. So Louis Trass seems to defend and, and work with uh, Marcus Chung in the English side. And we've seen, obviously, Lupton Price. So they must have these little two-man pods working together. Yeah. Lockhart. Henderson making the touch. Pinkerton and Lockhart working together here. Lockhart trying to take advantage, you know. Yeah, the link was oh, offside. He should have played on the, on the 12, number 12. Um, Joshua Henderson, because I think he was offside. Yeah, should have gone in rather than uh, out rather than in. Sorry, yeah. so Lockhart and Pinkerton. He's going to rip. No, he decided not to rip this time. I thought he might have ripped back open side because they ran the short side play before, but uh, they didn't. Nice, Louis Burns, he's, get, he's running a county's line again. He loves that line, and uh, the referees are saying he didn't get over the ball, oh, yeah. son. And we're changing it over. So we're going to be knocking the ball out now with uh, the number 11 there. Matthew Bate. Driving it well now, England. Grinter's on with Watts. 
uh, it's a bit... Uh, I've said that England has been quite clean for the first half, but now it seems that they've uh, gone in and dropped a few balls. Or they're, they're just a little less clean than they've been. Uh, maybe they're getting a little bit tired. Maybe the heat coming up to them. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's frustration of not scoring as much as they did, as uh, they hoped for. But a uh, 7-3 is still a, a four-point advantage. So it's a, yeah. And, and all they've got to do is win this game. Yeah, all they've got to do is win this game. Much, so. All they've got to do is uh, maybe score a couple of tries and defend properly, mm. and they'll be done for the day. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see if they... Um, Inside if ball. they do win, what they'll do tomorrow? Had any tries in the second half? No, so there's only been in, one. Yeah, in the first half, um, we've had just one try each for the first ten minutes, and then it was a festival. Mm. So maybe now for the second ten minutes and for the last ten minutes, it's going to be a little bit more tries. It's going to need to be for Scotland. Yeah, they're going to need a thousand tries. Are we are we good with the the score, or did I miss one? Oh, they scored one in the second. It is 7-3. Oh, it is 7-3. Yeah, so England got that one that we thought uh, was controversial. So we didn't yeah, think yeah, he caught the ball. Yeah, seven metres. Yeah. No, no, it was the one over there when they threw the long ball. Oh, we yeah. We didn't know whether he put the ball down or not. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the short seven was uh, Scotland being dudded. Yeah. But, um, there's Lupton here. Long, oh, lovely running. Lupton's been pushed behind. And the referees have seen something. Yeah, they're gonna just talk about themselves, talk about it amongst themselves. It's all a very long way from where we are. I can't read lips, and even from this distance, no. I can't even see lips. All I can see is it's a ball down. Yeah, it's the Scottish ball. Yeah. They got to score. They got to score soon. Otherwise, it's uh, the chances of winning the 2023 Euros are gone. This is a, a game of um, spirit at this point. Yeah, it is. If they can crush Scotland spirit, that's good. But uh, yeah, well defended there by England. They seem to run out of options uh, a little bit. Yeah. From both sides, I mean, because uh, we've only seen one try so far. Fatigue. Yeah, maybe fatigue. Maybe they uh, step down a little bit. Absolutely, fatigue is uh, playing its part now. This is uh, the men's open's third game for today, yeah. and probably what's been the hottest day. Yeah, since the, the event. start of the week. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be as hot tomorrow, if not hotter. No, but the benefit for these teams is that's gone backwards. Oh, that's a little unlucky. Yeah. But uh, oh, hang on, I think they're calling it the play before. It's a heavy touch. But yeah, well, so I think tomorrow is going to be similar today. One less game. Yes, because it's the final, so it's only two games. Yep. Uh, one for the qualifications in the morning, and the last one of the game, either for the medal or for just placement. Yep. So you, they offer uh, first, second, third medals here. So um, so you've got the opportunity to, to win a bronze. if um, And that's uh, what Scotland will be uh, playing for, it looks like, unless they do something dramatic in the last eight minutes. But uh, Louis Treas is saying, oh, we're not having none of that. Yeah, a lovely try. try from Henderson. It, it, it looked pretty effortless. It's uh, it five points ahead. They're just nailing the coffin at this point. Yeah, exactly right. That's that try. Now, with uh, seven and a half to go, you're doing the maths and you're going, it's awfully difficult now for the Scots, but they'll they won't give up. No, I know they should give up. Uh, they shouldn't give up. Like mm. uh, they can still score a few tries, yep. rank up a little bit more. Yep. Well, what they'll do now is, um, you know, should the result continue the way it's going, is they'll they'll go into the third, fourth playoff after one final game. That's a lovely. No, I thought he got him before. Yeah. I think he touched him before. I thought he touched he got him the before ball, he got yeah. the ball. Yeah. And that's what Lockhart's saying. He's saying no. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. He, it's. They're calling a touch. They're calling a touch. Uh, yeah, unlucky for um, Finley Lockhart, yeah, here. Because in, in our opinion, he was touched after. Yeah, after or before, before he, he got, got the, ball. the ball. So. Yeah, it's going to be a six touch. Yeah. A great dive by Lewis Burns, but a. Good touch there. I think it was um, Sarah, Sarah Cold. The big fella out wide here. Dom Tripp. 
Sandlot's uh, 13. And Lupton and Price working together again. I think Price wants to go from half here, which he does. Look at those wheels. Straight yeah, through. He's really fast. Yeah, he's going to try and find someone. Uh, in the end, he found nobody, but he, I think he Scotland knocked it down. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Scotland knocked it down. Scotland is saying, well, I didn't play it. We're going to see it again. I threw my entire arms and body at it, but I didn't play it. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I, I think he, he just threw the ball behind him and yeah. it hit a Scottish player. It did. And that's the end of the story. Yeah. But uh, England get another set of six here now. And that just takes time off the clock. So Lockhart, good defence. Okay, no. Referees are going to say. Oh, I think it's going to be a hard touch. Yeah, I didn't think it was. Oh no, it's not the worst that we've seen for the, no. this game. No, not absolutely all. not. It was just a. Oh yeah, he's been sent off. He's been subbed. Has he? Yeah, he's, yeah, been, he's been subbed. Well, he's been sent for time because he's running to the end of the field. Oh no, he. So he is being. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a sin bin. Yeah. It's a sin bin. Yeah. Oh, that's that's really harsh. Yes, that is harsh. I didn't think there was anything wrong with that no. dog trip. Horatio. I mean, they're already five points ahead. Yeah. So. Lupton, can, yeah. he can find either one here. Yeah, no touch then by Pinkerton. He found the winger. So, um, I think it was number nine who went and in the sin bin but yeah, uh, yeah but he, the, now he's coming back so I think he didn't actually get sin bin I think he just got subbed because if you get sin bin you're supposed to stay behind the yeah for four possessions yep you're supposed to stay behind the try lines uh, before for four possessions yep and your team is playing with only five players that's correct and if you are just being subbed you just have to go to your box and someone else can come in and, and replace you yep or you yeah. can go back straight back on or you can get straight back on Once we've seen that box. yesterday I think yeah uh, in the Irish game. Hang on. They've got another bloke in the box now. So, <laughs> all right, well, I, I've never seen that. They're just sending everyone to prison one after the other. Well, number six got bin. I, I, don't, I don't understand what's going you, on. You can't, you can't swap the bin player. No, you can't. Well, I told you yesterday about the, uh, the dummy half and the, uh, the, the dumper being the same person. So that was, there we go. Now he's going to the bin too. So now they've got two players in the bin. So they've got two, yeah, they've got two in the bin. So Are they playing four? So oh, they're playing just they're playing with four. They're playing with four? Yeah. Wow, that's a dramatic situation. Yeah, it is. So obviously Lockhart got bin for the hard touch, or maybe he might have had a few choice words. I think Pinkerton's been um, bin for possibly having a few choice words. That's the only thing that he could have been bin for, I anticipate. So. I mean... Seeing us, it was uh, it was a try for England, and it, it, nothing much happened after no, this. <laughs> exactly right. So, so I think yeah, he's been outed for bad mouthing. So the poor old Scots have got to uh, play with four players. Yeah, now the the poor and happy folks are just yeah. staying and watching it happen yeah. from the other side of the yeah. pitch. Well, uh, it's lovely defence. It's got to be six more. Yeah, the problem is that doesn't count as a possession because it hasn't changed over. So now they're going to have to defend another so whole set of six with four players. Yeah, so it's been one, two, the third possession. England have just got to run a 32 long here. And um, and as long as England yeah. got the ball, it's going to oh, be the third possession. Well, yeah, they could just... Good defence there by Crawford. Second. Second um, sort penalty of on the line. If they do a third one, can they get a third player bin? Uh, he would just be uh, to the sideline, yeah. So good defence. Nice. Touch two. I mean, this is how you got to play it. <laughs> just forget the wings. Yeah. I'm sort of just sitting here waiting for him to score, but uh, Henderson there, if they go back the open side, he's got like a thousand people, and he decided to throw a pass, which I think was... Are well, they going to call it okay in the end? I yeah. thought it might have been forward. A but bit dodgy as well. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's, as you say, when you're losing 9-3, you might as well lose 10-3 or 11-3. Hmm. Yeah, there's only a couple of minutes to go, so th it was probably never going to change the result, what had happened. But uh, this sort of puts a bit of a downer. On yeah, the, the, the players, are they want to come out of their <laughs> prison time, but uh, the referee said it's for foul possession, so... Yeah. Well, that's the rule. That's the actual official rule. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. But uh, I think he thought that this one was well, maybe the intercepts. that they could get in for the fourth. Yeah, he might have been counting the intercepts too. Like the knockdowns. Yeah. Louis Burns, can he score? Maybe not on his own. Oh, maybe on his own. 
No, he's been touched, but it's uh, it's going to be a penalty on the yeah. line here. Doesn't really help the Scots because they don't get their player back. Yeah. It still counts as the same it's possession. So. Yeah, it's just dragging it on. Yeah, it is. And it's uh, a little bit more than a minute to play there. All right, so it's a, a little bit of a weird finish for a game. Yeah. And he's oh. going out wide. Trying to run a sneaky. It's been touched. Yes. So yeah, there's a, a gathering of Scots. <laughs> yeah. In behind the try line. Upton. Yeah, all, there's Tom almost Tripp as there. many Scots uh, sent in prison outside of the field, but on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Right, so, so is it a second penalty on the line? Yeah. Now, do England lose a player? No, one more and they'll lose a player. Yeah, they're, they're 30 seconds away from the final of Huda, so mm. I don't think we're going to see Scotland play six anymore. Oh, oh and they, they managed to sneak in a try by uh, John Strain. Well, so now they can they get one player back, yeah, England but not the other one. Well, I'll get them both back now because uh, <laughs> the final Huda signed. The final Huda has signed. 11-4. 11-4. Uh, yeah. That many. Yeah. Oh, I've got them. I missed quite a few. Oh no, 10-4. 10-4, I think. 10 yeah. 10-4, big, big buddy. I, yeah. I missed only one. Yeah. Yeah, 10-4, England. Uh, so England, obviously, going to the finals. Um, yep, they'll be in the gold medal match uh, as the last match of the tournament this afternoon. Scotland will play off for third. Who they play is yet to be determined and who England play, well, it may be determined, it may not. We'll find out in about 20 minutes time when the uh, scores are entered and updated. So, But uh, that brings us to the end. Day yeah, three. It's, uh, an early end for the day at 5.33, no, 5.34 exactly. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to wrap up here and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for finals final day. day finals day yeah. tomorrow at the 2023 euros um, from vichy in france absolutely i'll see you tomorrow Aaron. talk to you then